Hello. Oh boy, do I have a treat for you today. That is because I have a habit that I've had for years and years and years of buying very old, strange, used things on eBay. Things such as 72% of my entire wardrobe. The hit 1986 book, Microwave for One by Sonia Allison. Mmm, save some for me. This slightly damaged Happy Meal bag from 1991. Oops, I think that might be a bullet hole. This terrifying 2005 talking robotic Yoda. The Sith and the Jedi I speak of. Okay. And of course my 2002 Spider-Man cereal, which believe it or not, I'm still working on. <laughs> something moved in there. Is there worms? Oh god. It's fine. But you see, nothing takes the cake in terms of strange, old, or used in terms of what arrived at my doorstep just today. <laughs> and right now we're gonna open it up and discover its terrifying capabilities together. Okay, sorry, this is gonna take me longer to open up than I thought it would. This is very well packaged. Give me well, just one moment. Dude, who are you trying to keep out of this package? What is happening? Jesus, it's been like 18 minutes. I'm trying my hardest. Oh, I can kind of see it. Hang on. <laughs> I fell on my foot. That was exhausting, I'm sorry. That took so long to open, and also I had to change around my entire set to make space for it, because boy is she much bigger and heavier than I thought she'd be. Let me take a minute before I introduce her. You know electric chairs? As in electric chairs? that they used to like fry criminals with in the chair and it was a horrifying barbaric situation where the electricity passed through the meat of the uh, individual and then that person was no more. You got that visual? Sorry. Well, somebody in the 1940s or so took that principle and said, mmm, let's apply that to selling hot dogs to children and teenagers at carnivals. And then that person proceeded to invent this terrifying contraption that I was lucky enough to find on eBay just last week. <laughs> oh, no. Allow me to introduce you to the sizzling. I actually couldn't find out all that much about it, but it seems quite simple in its barbaric, horrifying energy. So I suppose the principle is that this was on the counter of diners or at carnivals once upon a time, and the carnies would place a meat product <laughs> right here on these little skewers, and then they proceeded to plug this in, and then it sends God knows how many volts of electricity into the meat product, and then cooks it, apparently very quickly. I'm very nervous, I'm very scared, but you know what we're gonna do today? We're gonna see how it does with hot dogs, and a lot of other things that we probably shouldn't be testing on this. Especially considering that I don't even know how it works. I know nothing, okay? And I can already see the headline. Idiot boy YouTuber electrocutes himself, fries himself to a flame, to a bone, doing a YouTube video about the sizzling. Oh god, are the meat hooks rusted. And this sure is a dirty item too. When I turn it around, it looks as though... Well, I'm no forensic expert, but this sure does vibe like blood. Okay, now listen, I know what you're thinking. Garrett, this is an ancient item here. There's voltage going, there's metal everywhere. Don't electrocute yourself. Don't die for this. But you know what? You're worth the risk, first of all. But secondly, I'm not even gonna take a risk because I have um, dishwashing gloves, which I'm pretty sure they will protect from electricity. I'm pretty sure. Oh, you know what? Just to be really safe, I'll put two pairs on. Now those are the safety standards of a professional. I googled it for all of 17 seconds. Rubber isn't great at conducting electricity. I'll be fine, okay? Well, you know what? Two don't fit, but it's fine. One will, it'll be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Also, don't do this at home, but how could you? Because <laughs> you could never find this. We're gonna plug it in in just a moment, but I thought I would show you what I have prepared that we can test on the sizzling, <laughs> which that title needs some notes. They really just went with sizzling, not the sizzler. I don't know. So what I have prepared are a couple things. First off is, of course, I've prepared a bouquet of hot dogs. But you know what? Just to make the process a little bit less gruesome, they're vegan actually. So that's kind of nice. This will still be disgusting. What else are we gonna put up against the sizzling? A big old cartoonish block of cheese that looks like a mouse would be sniffing on it. So that'll be fun. A chocolate candy bar. Red vines. A banana. Oh god, look at it. What if I balance it on top of the hot dog bouquet and everyone freaks out? <laughs> Oh. Some peanut butter cookies. String cheese. 
this hedgehog. God, this hedgehog looks good in front of this sizzling. Some bread and some Twinkies. Now I am going to plug it in. The cord is very frayed and this is very scary. I won't be able to see it, so you'll have to tell me if anything happens. Just scream if something happens. I certainly will. Okay. Oh God, please don't explode. Did anything happen? Is it a fire? If it is, I don't, it doesn't matter because look, I have a, 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 a fire spray. This is really, really exciting though. Do you see the light? How about that? All right, <laughs> I get it already. This is a lot of fun. Hey, even if this whole thing doesn't work, this is worth it. This is worth the $300 that I spent on this. I'm not proud. But I'm honest. <laughs> this is so scary. Okay, so first up, let's get our hot dogs out of the bouquet here. Okay. Oh, they're in there real tight. Get out! <sighs> we'll go to the ones that aren't broken and we will see what we... Oh, now that is a little bit too big. But that's fine. Let's just see how this goes. Oh, God. Oh, oh, disgusting. That's good. Hey, look at that. First one uh, down. So we'll get the other hot dogs on here. This is fun. We won't do the ones that are overtly broken. That's a loose one. And this one, that's not even a little bit attached. That sucks. But okay. So we'll just go through and do the ones that seem to kind of work a little bit. This is what it must have been like in the 1950s or the 40s or the 30s whenever this was made. Sorry. I'm not a freaking historian, okay? God. Ah, this feels so disgusting. Ah, I'm sorry to do this to you, hot dog, even though you're vegan and you weren't ever technically really alive, unless, of course, plants think, which is like a thing now, I guess. I don't know. Ah, that's so horrible. <laughs> but cute. Oh, couple left in our bouquet. Uh-oh, this one's piecing apart. Well, how perfect. Look at that. That was a lot of hard work. My grandpa, he builds houses for a living. I got this! <laughs> I'll tell you what, the suspense is killing me. What's gonna happen when I flip those switches? Maybe nothing at all, and this video will be a weird bust. And this will just be me skewering hot dogs onto rusty poles. Which, uh, to be completely honest, isn't the worst video. There's worse stuff on YouTube. There is. There is. Get out of here, everything else! Time to fry these boobies! <laughs> I'm gonna go turn it on, hang on. Okay, I'm plugging it in! Okay, so it's plugged in. Now all I have to do is flip the switches and see what happens! But I will be safe now. I got the, my safety gloves on. Okay, well, let's just see. This one here. All right. Oh, God. Oh, it's gonna electrocute my face, I know it. Ah! And then, just one by one, we'll flip these on and see what happens. Oh, I thought I saw smoke. I think I did. No, I didn't. I'm just tripping. It's also really late and I haven't slept in a long time. One. Oh, God, it's making a sound. I need to show you a closer angle. I'll get my phone. It was bubbling, I swear. I heard it. Dude, do something. I wonder if, it, if I touched it, if it would electrocute me to death. Oh, it's a little tempting. <laughs> That's not doing anything too sensational, but there is sizzling, I promise, on my life. Let's just flip them all on and see what happens. Oh, do you hear all that sizzling? I'll zoom in in 4K and show you. Ew! <laughs> oh god, it's dripping! Oh, ew, the rusty juice is dripping! Well, now it's smoking a whole lot and it smells like really, really bad. Oh, is there a smoke detector in here? Oh god. Okay, I'm turning it off. Oh, oh, I have a fire thing. No, oh, no, wait a second. Okay, all right, stop, 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 stop. Oh, no, 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 I don't want this. I don't want this. Oh, God, there's a sizzle over there. Oh, no, there's a sizzle over there, too. Oh, shit. I'm turning it off. I'm turning it off. Oh, no, I need to open up a window. Oh, my God. That was so scary. Oh. I hate this thing, it scares me so badly. Once this video is done, this is being retired forever. Everything's fine, okay? It's not that big of a deal. Things happen. Nothing even caught on fire and everything is safe. Is there still smoke happening? Oh God. All right, it's 100% unplugged now, so nothing can burn or be scary anymore. I got an idea. I think that it's important to know what an electrified hot dog tastes like. Now, these ones were sitting in the, in the hot dog bouquet, which was just a wine glass between you and I, for a long time. But maybe the electricity kills the germs? It might not be the worst thing in the world just to give it a try, right? I just got my tetanus shot from when I cut my thumb. And, and I won't even get any of the rust in my mouth because there's a lot of rust at the end. Well, I don't know if that's burning or rust, but I think it's probably both. But like I said, it's important to try. Let's just see how an electrified hot dog tastes. Mmm! <laughs> 
it, 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 it tasted like metal. I got some grit in my teeth. Something really bad happened to that hot dog. Hot dog experiment over. So what it's made for works, but that's only the beginning. So I'll just get these off and we'll move on to the next thing. Ah, ouch! Oh god, the prongs are hot! Melted the rubber a little bit, what seems like to be to the skin. Oh, ah, they're really stuck on there. <coughs> Gross. Ugh, the sounds. Oh god, the sounds. <sighs> oh god, I feel like I'm cleaning up a murder scene. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oof. And hey, I'll, I'll say this much. Oh, these, don't, these are really hot. That's fine. The gloves are helping a little bit. Oh, they're not so bad. They smell pretty good. No, they don't. They smell horrible. Don't worry. In my videos, food almost never goes to waste because I have a whole family of raccoons that I, I secretly feed that lives in my backyard. Don't tell the state of California. I think that's against the law. I'm just kidding. I know I don't feed raccoons in my backyard. I don't feed them. Okay, so I'll just throw these back in their, in their little bouquet here. You know what, I think the heat made them swell up so they're a little more stubborn to get in there. Oh, oh gross. Okay, raccoons, <laughs> it's your lucky day. <laughs> oh, God. And next up, let's try the cheeses. Now, what we learned before is that this one was really active, so let's see if we can get that skewered on there pretty nicely. Oh, I can't get the string cheese open. Uh, the string cheese wrapper is being stubborn when you're wearing the dish, uh, dishwashing gloves or electric safety gloves. Oh, I did it. God. Okay, and then just the string cheese, which actually, oh, it just barely fits. Okay. Okay, this is fun. Let's get a little closer since we just have just these two things. Now it's that one and that one. Okay, you hear it? I hear it sizzling. Try to catch on fire, I swear, look. Oh, God, what's in that? Oh my god, I have so many mice that live in my a little back shed. They're in for such a treat. It's falling off because science. Wow, is all the weight of it just on that prong? Wait, does this bottom prong work too that it's resting on? Let's see. <laughs> that one certainly doesn't. Oh no, that's not gonna work. Wait, what's going on with you? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh. The cheese works. <laughs> Let's see what happens if I, when I put, if I put a banana on it. Get out of here for now, cheese. Okay, we're gonna try the banana. Here goes nothing. <laughs> oh wait, what if it's too wet and it just, and it shocks everything? I'll keep my distance, hang on. I'll flip it on with something safe. Wait, was that the right one? Come on, do something, banana. So nothing happened, but it's still a pretty good banana. It didn't even get hot. Banana's a no-go. Okay, next up is we'll just try the cookie. I think this will be fun. I don't know if it'll conduct electricity, but that's what we're doing. We're just gonna find out. Um, oh no, it doesn't fit. Oh crap, now I don't know what to do with this cookie. Well, don't mind me, I guess I'll just go throw it away. <laughs> okay, the candy bar. Okay, these aren't gonna fit like this, so for scientific reasons, I need to like glue them together, which there's caramel on the inside. I know what I'm doing here, just give me a minute. This is science, you wouldn't understand. Wow, I'm actually insanely smart. That was crazy. Okay, now just get this bad boy on here. That's crazy that that worked. <laughs> Come on, go do something nuts. Come on, little chocolate bar, you do something interesting right now. Come on, they're watching. You're embarrassing me. Don't do this. I'm so ashamed of you. I'm gonna start homeschooling you, too. I'm gonna start homeschooling you. Oh, come on, chocolate bar! Catch on fire! Or, or, or make a bolt of electricity or something, come on! Oh, let's get Yoda. Let's ask him what's happening here. Yoda, is anything gonna happen with this whole chocolate bar sizzling situation? Ah, something else wish you to do. Save this for another time. Yes! Uh, enough, Yoda! That's a great idea. Yoda pretty much just said give up on the chocolate bar, and I'm down with him. Sorry, chocolate bar, you didn't do anything good. Man, oh man, all right, I'll go toss this. <laughs> okay, and this one's easy. Let's just do a slice of bread and see what happens. Maybe we make toast or French bread. That's what I said. <laughs> Come on, bread, do your thing. Turn into toast or I'll f scream. That was a little bread song. Well, the bread's not doing anything, so. <sighs> Let me try some different prongs. Now watch these sparks fly, baby. I said, now watch these sparks fly, baby. Brad, come on. I, I think what's happening here is that I just don't understand how electricity works. You're nothing to me, you're dead to me, bye. The red vines. Oh no. Oh, oops. 
What a clutch, what I am. <laughs> Red Bonds are like my favorite candy. Hey, pro tip by the way, straws, boring. Don't even use straws, just use these. When you go to the movie theater, you're sipping on one of these in your nice fountain drink and, have, and everyone's looking at you going, oh my God, they're so attractive, what are they doing? You know, you're sitting there watching the movie. That's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool, that looks great. Come on, do something nuts. I hear a slight sizzle. There's, there was a little burn that happened. You didn't see it, but it was sizzling like hell. You missed, I was gonna be like, you missed all the action, but really it just kind of sizzled a little, like, and then it got, uh, it just turns like a darker color. Oh, electricity goes sensationally with red vines. <laughs> That's great, wow. Okay, let's try this little hedgehog. Let's put his head right in between these spikes and see what happens. <laughs> oh God, I had a change of heart. I'm sorry, I don't wanna do that. If, if he got on fire, I'd freak out. I'm sorry, I'll never do that to you again. I love you, I'll never let you go. Oh my God. Next up, let's, let's try the, don't eat him, Garrett. <laughs> it's my hands are doing what my mind wants and it's hard not to, <laughs> to take a big bite. But it's time for science, so I won't. Okay, you know what? These Twinkies are very moist. Ew, like moister than they should be. But I think that's great. I think that's gonna result in some real action here. Okay, the Twinkies are a bit too short, so I need to sort of <gasps> mash them together like that. This will have to move quickly. I wanna turn it on, but if I let it go, it's gonna fall. Life is so hard. I'll prop it up with the banana, hang on. We got this. I think my hand is far enough from that in order to not get hurt even though I'm still holding, I, I don't have time to figure this out. No, this is a really bad idea and I've, I've not been able to figure out if I have health insurance for like three years. It's weird. I won't do that for my health. <laughs> oh God, oh God. Well, now that I did that, whatever that was, I say we take a moment to just sit and really reflect on what we learned here today. Nothing, there is nothing to be learned. I bought a hot dog machine that electrocutes hot dogs. My whole place, including the inside of my nostrils and brain, smells like burnt hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you had a good time with this. You know what, this inspires a question. So, I have a lot of old used stuff because I love things with a bit of soul power in them. <laughs> this might have a bit too much soul power in it in the respect that I think it's gonna give me tetanus. But it's not about that. My question for you is <laughs> what's something that you have that you love that's a little old and used? <laughs> Anything goes. Um, speaking of, oh god. Okay, I'm going to clean up a little bit and sleep and eat a lot of these red vines. Okay, bye, let me see you. <laughs>